Hello there. Hello and welcome. I don't know where, term, where you are, but it is absolutely tipping it down here. So hopefully um, we're not going to get too much interference from the, the rain on the roof. But uh, there's not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. But, uh, but there we go. So welcome. Welcome to Craft Store Direct TV. Now, this is an opportunity for us to um, kind of do a little bit of product spotlight. So um, to give us the opportunity to spend a bit of time to show you some of the different products that Craft Store Direct are able to bring to you. Um, and that's what this is all about. So, uh, yeah, there's a few things we're going to be looking at today, including the Scan and Cut, the SDX um, at 1200, and also some additional bits and pieces that you may want to invest in, um, in as time goes on. So, that's what's happening with us today. I'm just going to grab my iPad. Now, I'm hoping it doesn't make any funny kind of buzzing noises. It did a little bit last time I did um, a Facebook Live. So, um, I don't know. We will see. We will see. Now, I'm just having a quick look to see if we've got um, any comments. Yeah, a few people mentioning Natalie. Good evening, Natalie. I shall give you an introduction in just a few moments. Um, a few of you watching live from the cabin in Redditch. Yes, into sunny Redditch. Not so sunny today. Now, Natalie is joining us this evening. Um, whoops, a daisy. Oh, drop my iPad. Let me just move that around there. I might not get to read the um, the comments because it's kind of on the side, but um, Natalie, Natalie Ballard, I'm sure you will know, um, she's very much involved in the craft industry and has been for quite some time. Um, very knowledgeable lady, especially with the Brother Scan and Cut, also with Silhouette Range as well. Um, and they create some amazing projects, her and her, her other half. Not far from where I live, actually, just up in Worcester. So we'll have to catch up and have a coffee um, sometime. But uh, she's in the group to help me a little bit with regards to any questions any of you guys may throw up with regards to the Brother Scan and Cut, because I am very much just getting started on my journey with the Scan and Cut. So um, I'm nowhere near the level of uh, information that Natalie can share with you. So say hi to Natalie, do check her out. Um, she does loads and loads of classes and tutorials and she's going to be working closely with Craft Store Direct, um, uploading some videos, kind of how to's and getting you started with the, um, your different scan and cuts and also the um, Canvas workspace as well which is the software that uh, accompanies. So if you've got any questions, by all means, shout out. I potentially might not see them because at the moment I'm kind of presenting, producing, directing, and I've got quite a lot going on today. This is a bit of a, a trial to see how we go forward with regards to Craft Store Direct TV. So I would welcome your feedback of anything that you, you hear or don't hear or any little noises or issues. Just let me know and hopefully we can iron those out as we work our way along. So first things first, let's have a little look at the Scan and Cut. Now the Scan and Cut obviously is um, the brother, um, well it's not, it's one of those ones that I'm not sure, I think it's classed as kind of the, the, the top of the range with regards to um, crafters. Um, it's 12 inches wide, so the cutting area is very similar to the silhouette that we've been used to. And obviously it's got its inbuilt um, LCD screen. So you don't theoretically need to hook it up to a computer. Um, so if you do, you can do that wirelessly as well. And the software that you have available to work with um, the scan and cut is called Canvas Workspace. And Canvas Workspace you can access and you can do a lot of different things. There's a lot of elements that are free. We'll have a little look at it later on. But there's also elements that you can add to, um, add to it as time goes on as well if you're wanting to, different kind of features and bits and pieces. So um, the Scan and Cut itself, um, there's a, a lot to it. So you can see there, you've got some um, fabulous different um, elements on there. The onboard computer, obviously it's got a scanner inbuilt as well. Um, and, oh, you're in Droitwich, Natalie. Oh, I don't know why, I thought it was Worcester. Oh yeah, Droitwich, regularly passing through Droitwich. Um, so yeah, you've got your, your touch screen, you've got your um, scanner and it's a 600 DPI scanner as well. So really, really high quality. And it's got a really good kind of G-force behind the actual cut of this one and will cut up to three millimeters thick. Now, I don't know how much of the information you're able to read on the left-hand side. I'm reading on my iPad and it's um, relatively small. So um, it's one of those situations where, yeah, it's 
if you can't see that on your regular screen if you're watching on a phone then you probably can't read it at all but if you're watching on a, a larger screen then hopefully you'll be able to, to read it but it's basically just explaining on the left hand side everything that you get within your box and you'll see the layout that we've got on the screen this is for craft store tv going forward so you can see it looks a bit familiar um, with all the information that you've got top left hand corner will give you the code so if you are looking for any of the items on the craft store website so craftstoredirect.com scrolling along the bottom there and then obviously with the scan and cut you've got a brilliant saving on this you're actually saving 14 percent on the rrp so you can see at the moment you're saving 100 pounds bringing it down to 599 and as i say it's got a lot of information in there so there's a lot that uh, you're going to be able to do with it and i have to say i have been very um very impressed with it i'm going to switch over to one of the other cameras and i can't actually see what's going on so i'm hoping that you oh no Yes, you should be able to see me, hopefully. I'm not too sure. Yes, you can. Looking on the screen. It's sort of back of my head then. Um, so, yeah, um, I've been really impressed with the scan and cut, I must admit. A couple of the features that I like, the fact that the blade will automatically detect the thickness of the project that you're working with. It can't kind of detect the, um, the density. So sometimes you have to play around with the settings if you've got something that's more dense than other um, materials. Um, but uh, you don't need your computer. So you've got a lot of inbuilt elements there that you can bring up. Also, it will automatically recognize any um, SVG cutting files, which um, obviously you, you can just literally just open those up from a USB stick, from a download, anything that you've got on your computer. And of course, as we said, wirelessly, you can transfer it over. I think we've got some trick or treaters going down the lane, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're singing in the rain, literally. So yeah, so that's one of the, the things that I love about it. So let's have a quick look at the machine itself. So the machine itself, um, very compact. Um, so everything that you need is kind of in, um, in here. I'm just gonna move a few bits and pieces around just so as you can kind of see because you never have enough room, do you, as a crafter. So I'll move this down so you can actually see the little um, screen as well, because that is kind of a key thing, the area that we've got here. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about kind of the nuts and bolts of the machine in a few moments, but I'm just gonna turn it on quickly for you, just so as you can see. So when you turn that on, hopefully you're not gonna get any glare from the, um, the lights, but you've got your LCD screen um, and this is adjustable. Now I'm going to leave it quite flat so as you can actually see what I'm doing. Maybe not that flat because there's a little bit of a glare going on, but just a slight angle. So this will open up and this is the onboard computer that you've already got within your scan and cut. And when you get your scan and cut and you've bought your scan and cut, you will have a whole host of different kind of bits and pieces, which I'll show you in a few moments. But one of the things that you do get is a stylus. And you, it's good to get in the habit of using the stylus to touch the screen rather than your fingers, um, especially if you've got things like acrylic or gel nail. So, yeah, you can see as we're looking at the full color screen, this is another thing that I like. You've got a five inch screen, so it's a good size screen, potentially the same size as um, maybe your mobile phone. That's uh, if you consider that, that is a good size area. Full color. So nice and easy for you to actually see what you're working with there. And at the moment, it's kind of scrolling through a menu of different projects that you could potentially be working with. But it's really easy to kind of go into the, the machine and um, access everything. When you press the home button, as you can see here with the little house, it will ask you, let me just drop that back. No, drop it forward. There we go. I think at that angle is probably better. The carriage will move to the initial position. Keep your hands away from the carriage. If your hands are in the way, then you can kind of upset the um, kind of lining up um, process. So yeah, just keep your hands out of the way. In all fairness, if you're gonna be pressing on um, okay, your hand is gonna be out of the way. So uh, yeah, that's the way that you can work with this. Straight away, you can see, now it's telling me there's an update available, but I'm not gonna do that at the moment but you will from time to time get updates. So as there'll be different features that are added onto the machine as time goes on. So you don't have to pay for those. Those are all part of your initial um, expense of buying the, the machine. You've got pattern shapes, which we will look at in a few moments. You are able to scan, because obviously it's got an inbuilt scanner. And you'll notice that you've got kind of three little buttons here that are illuminated. So as we move across, 
you've got all the different things that you can be working with. The roll feeder is something that you can work with and I've got one of those to show with you as well. And you can see here, you've kind of got different bits and pieces, your own collections and things like that. So it's very easy for you to find your way around. You've got your Wi-Fi connection, um, obviously if you choose to use that, and that means that you can access things, um, bring them in from your computer without the need for any cables. And then just very quickly, um, if you want to access different areas, you just literally click on the screen, as you can see there, and then you work your way through. They're put into sections here. So you've kind of got your shapes. So these are your general shapes and every shape will have its own little kind of identification number. So if you have favorites, you can kind of go back to those at any time and you literally just pull up those as you want them. You've got your little arrow buttons here that will take you scrolling through. So you can see it's moved on to the second page now, moved on to the third page and so on. But you can kind of fast, fast track if you want to using the double chevron and you can get right to the bottom or right to the top. So bearing in mind, we are still in that first section. There is a lot within that first section, as you can see. And you'll probably notice the little slider there on the side there is moving up and down as you go. So if you want to select any of those shapes, all you do is literally just click on it and then it will ask you the size that you want to work with it. So you can change the sizes if you wanting to. This one being a square, then obviously it is a case that it's moving both of those at the same time and you can hold and drag, it'll kind of drag out as it goes, as you can see there. If you wanted to change um, lock in kind of dimensions, you can do. So for instance, if I go back and we were working with um, something, say like this one here, which isn't equal distance, you can lock in those dimensions. So when you are um, increasing one, um, it's just moving the one and not, sorry, it's not locking in the dimensions. It's it's not locking them, sorry. <laughs> Back to front there. So yeah, and you go into it. If that is open, then you are moving them together. So everything is moving at the same time. Whereas if you've got it highlighted, you can move one or the other. So change the shape completely. Got it a bit back to front there. You can also change it in percentages if you want to as well. So these are lots of settings that you can explore as time goes on um, and then just to kind of go through that. So you've got your basic shapes, you've got some feature shapes here. Under this heading, again, you've got further headings. So you've got things like um, gorgeous snowflakes here, perfect for the time of year, florals, leaves. These are all built in. You've got literally hundreds of different designs that are built in under different sections. So it might be word art that you've got in here, or it might be sentiments that you're wanting to use. Well, these are all built in with regards to this. So you don't have to worry about that at all. In fact, you've got over 1300 built in designs. So there's a lot there. And there's quilt projects in there as well. So if you are a sewer, then you can utilize your scan and cut um, with regards to cutting your pattern pieces as well. Borders. Loads of borders as well, as you can see here. Um, in addition, you've got your fonts and under your fonts, you've actually got 17 different fonts. And then, of course, if you do want to utilize fonts that you've got on your computer as well, then you can kind of create things within Canvas Workspace as well. Um, things like frames. Some of the designs, when you work with them, will be designs that are only for use with the pen, um, a pen and they do come with pens as well, incidentally. Um, so they're single line um, fonts, some of those. So you wouldn't actually cut those with a blade because obviously it's going to kind of uh, um, just cut a, a, a bit in your paper. It's not gonna cut the letter. You need a complete outside edge for it to cut a letter. So if I go back into your fonts, so for instance, this letter A here has got an outside and inner er edges as well allowing you to actually cut those out. But if you've got um, fonts that are just kind of a hand script fonts, or sometimes they're called engravers fonts, then uh, yes, that's what you've got with these. And again, some of these designs, they're not designed to actually be cut, but you'll find that when you actually go into the finer details with regards to um, getting your settings all set up with those. So as you can see, lots and lots of features in there. You've also got things like your quilt blocks. So these will help you create your quilt blocks. And then you've got lots of applique elements, which again, you can go into and you've got lots within there. So things like your Dresden plates in there, you've got your tulips, your flowers, traditional designs in there, but also some quite unusual ones as well. 
and again you can bring in designs of your own if you're wanting to as well so there's a lot that's already built into it and just simply by clicking and exploring you will be able to work with those you've also got the ability to scan in artwork as well so this could be something that's hand drawn um, potentially it could be things that you've stamped out as well but we'll chat about that in a little while and you've got your different ways that you can bring your your data in so you can retrieve data so if you're going to connect it to your computer you can either do it wirelessly by a usb stick which you can pop in the side or you've got your usb cable or you're using the onboard computer that you've got as well so lots of different ways to access your design so that's the machine when you're looking at the software and when you actually get your machine as well um, you will have a lot of accessories that come with it and they're all neatly stored away in these little drawers that you've got underneath here so this is brilliant for keeping everything in its place you'll get um, a kind of tick sheet a, a quick reference guide so when it comes to having a look at the different bits and pieces you'll have that in there and I tend to keep this in Side my machine because it will kind of give you some guidelines and some indications of what you need for different materials different um, types of paper and cardstock and things like that so it's useful to keep that inside you've got plenty of room and it kind of just mentions to you how to get set up and it's very very easy when you actually get yours home as well you will get a little booklet which have I got the booklet? Oh, I have. I thought I'd lost it. So the booklet will actually take you through, and there is a piece of paper in here as well that will enable you to cut out this little um, the little bag that you can see here. I think mine's kind of got thrown away at some stage, but yes, and that will take you through how you actually get that all set up. So straight out of the box, very easy to get used to. You'll also get some pens, and these pens will sit within the little pen holder. So very cute, dinky little pens. As you can see here oops and you've got a variety of different colors in there so nice selection to start with and you've got a special carrier for this and this is where the pens will sit in here um, and you will just basically open this up and the pen will sit in there obviously you take the cap off and it will hold it in place and then that will sit within the carriage that you've got your um, standard tool in at the moment so that's what I've got in there at the moment so that can stay back in there You'll also have a couple of other little pens um, and these are clever pens because these are perfect if you're into your sewing um, because these are erasable pens. So you've got two there. Um, again, you've got a little cover sheet. So one, um, I think if I remember rightly, one is, um, yeah, there you go. So the one, the blue pen, so is often the case, the blue pen is erased with water and the purple will disappear um, over a period of time. So it can be anything from two days to 14 days. Depends on the conditions, how, whether it's summer, whether it's winter, the type of fabric you're working with, but that will just kind of air array. So you're going to get those in there and they work with that little, um, little pen holder that you've automatically got. Over on this side, you've got a little wallet and this is perfect for you to keep things like your little spatula in. And this is brilliant because you work with a sticky mat and you want to have as less contact with that sticky mat as you possibly can, because that is the key thing. The longer you keep the tack on that machine, the less you need to invest in another one. But saying that, we've got a brilliant deal for you with regards to the mats, which I'll tell you about in a few moments as well. Stylus, I've already mentioned that one to you as well. And then you've also got your additional, um, pair, um, ad additional blade holder. So this particular blade holder you're going to utilise when you're wanting to use some of the speciality blades. So you'll be able to see in there, you've got a tiny little blade already in there and you can kind of swap those blades out for a variety of different um, opportunities. It seems like a rotary blade and um, you've got embossing tools and, and things like that. So that's when you kind of swap around um, your, your little kind of holder that you've got in there. So they all sit neatly in there and you've also got a little kind of holder here. So if you're wanting to keep your things, um, oops pull that down <laughs> so you can keep your things in there as well if you wanted to but I tend to put them underneath here because if they drop forward you can catch them when you, you're closing up um, the drawer so what else do you get with the machine well you will get a couple of mats um, and sorry about my cameras I need to try and get a, a camera that's a little bit further away but it wasn't having it today so you'll get two mats now the one thing you need to be careful of is certain mats will only work with certain machines so make sure that when you are getting your mats wherever you, you're choosing to get your mats from that you are getting the right mats to work with your um, DX range machines so the first mat I had um, 
it was the wrong one and it didn't work and I couldn't understand why but um, when I kind of looked into it I realised that I hadn't got the right mat and it's because you've got kind of all of these markings that will be recognised by your machine to know that you've got the right mat. You'll get a couple of additional bits and pieces so you'll get some um, sheets that will enable you to kind of iron onto fabrics to allow you to cut out fabrics and things like that. Um, you'll also get um, some kind of fusible webbing which you can use to put onto your fabric before you cut out your little shapes if you're choosing to do any applique that's going to come with it as well. Obviously you're going to get your book that I mentioned earlier on. Full instructions as well and don't forget if you are shopping from Craft Store Direct you will have their technical support and you'll have your three-year warranty as well and the guys there are absolutely brilliant with their support so um, definitely worth considering um, if you are looking at getting hold of one do shop as I say through Craft Store Direct. Their machine at the moment has got a 14% discount on so very good value for money and definitely worth um, considering so uh, yeah if you're wanting to get hold of yours you can see you've got absolutely loads of built-in features with this one really easy to find your way around and quite often we'll find people that will invest in um, the scan and cut if they're not over um, kind of confident with a computer but it's horses for courses so it's uh, it's completely up to you so uh, yeah you can you can work with it the way that you want to work with it so a little bit of an oversight there for the um, SD sorry yeah the SDX um, 1200 no the 1200 SDX 1200 that's right remember them in the right number now i'm just going to take you over onto the computer just briefly just to show you around the software which you can actually download now if you're wanting to before you even invest in your machine so if you go over onto the computer i've already opened up canvas um, workspace and when you open it up it will show you some projects that are available to you that you can literally just click on these um, and download so there's all sorts in here obviously they they're kind of put um, seasonal projects the first projects that you'll see so we've got lots of things here for Christmas and Thanksgiving and Halloween um, featuring there and you can literally click on any of these and uh, go in and, and kind of get hold of those some of them will be um, paper crafting some of them will be mixed media some of them will be um, home decor a little bit of jewelry there with the sunflower earrings and all you do is you literally will click on any of these and then it will kind of take you to to get all the the information that you need it will hook up to the inter um, internet to get hold of those you've also got pattern collections in here as well so there's loads and loads for you to kind of have a little look around some of them where it's not activated you might need to buy an, um, an activation code so there's all sorts in there but to have a little rummage but you will have lots of tools at your disposal and you can see here you've got your work area on your mat so you can literally um, bring things in and work with them in the way that you would do if you are familiar with the silhouette software so very similar idea and again it's utilizing all the texts that you've got on your computer as well so you can go in and use all of those so if the 14 I think it is that you've actually got on your machine aren't enough then dip into the ones that you've got on your, um, your computer as well so there's not a problem with that and again just hover over these it will give you a little bit of an insight into different things that you've got on your computer and you can just find different ways for you to actually work with those so um, as I say it's one of those things that you will kind of delve into and explore you might never go into it you might be more than happy with the elements that you've got built in um, and that's the beauty of the scan and cut that if that's what you want then that is fine that's what you continue with so i'm going to head back over um so uh, we're going to have a little look at um, some of the additional products that you might want to invest in to start with so um the first thing that we're going to have a look at are additional mats because of course as time goes on you are going to need additional mats they get a bit um well not dry but they can get a bit fluffy um a bit of debris on there as well so uh, it's uh, always good to have one in reserve. Now, when you actually get your machine, you'll, the first time you get your machine, you will have um, two mats that come with it. Um, and uh, one will be a low tack, one will be a standard tack, but we have got additional 
um, mats available to you. Now you can see straight away on your screen there, we've got a discount code for you. Um, so if you're buying your um, consumables or your accessories and you use the code CDTV2210, you have up until the um, 6th of November, I think it is, at midnight to take advantage of those. Um, and uh, it will give you an additional 10% discount on top of the prices that you're seeing on the website, on the Craft Store Direct website. So for instance, the triple pack that we're looking at here you would usually pay um, £60.49 and p as the RRP. Over on Craft Store Direct website they are £54.44 but with your code it's bringing it down um, a little bit more to £48.99p. So you will find that for the mats, you'll find it for the blades um, and lots of the other accessories as well and you can see there um, the, the way that you can work with these are just literally um, kind of duplicates of the ones that you get with regards to your um your machine when you first get it home so the triple pack will give you exactly what it says on the <laughs> says on the label you'll get three of those and of course these are the ones that are compatible with your um your sdx range so uh, yes um yeah you scan and cut dx range should i say so yeah, yes, DX. So those are your triple um, triple mats, um, and these are your standard tack. So if you're wanting to use those, those are for your kind of your thicker fabrics, your handmade um, papers, things that might have a, um, a bit of substance to them, but you're still looking at up to a maximum of 1.5 mil. So things like um, my uh, mylar, I use with that as well. Now I am neglecting you with regard to um, comments, and oh, thank you, Natalie. Natalie's she's there. She's fabulous. Um, so let's have a little look. What's um, what's Natalie saying now? Um, oh gosh, I'm knocking over my iPad. So um, the beige cap holder is just for the fabric blade. Oh, thank you for that. Hold on. So it's already got a blade in there. So the blade that's in there, I'm guessing um, you, you use with your fabrics, but there is um, a, um, a rotary blade that you can get hold of as well. Um, I believe that will help you with that. So uh, Natalie is the uh, the fount of knowledge with regards to that one. So I'm sure she, she'll fill us in with regards to that one. So uh, mentioning there's separate holders and blades for vinyl cutting and a rotary blade as well. So it comes with that one for your fabric because I know with your silhouette, um, your Cameo 4, you can cut fabrics with your standard um, blade, your swivel blade, but then obviously you've got your rotary one um, if you're wanting to cut your fabrics as well. So a uh, different hold up with regards to that by the looks of it. I'm getting like a little buzz when I'll touch my iPad. Okay, right, need to bear that in mind. Um, so thank you for that. And uh, the cap will store on top of the holder when closed. Right. Use a little bit of information there. Thank you, Natalie. Um, the high tack support mat, which sticks to your normal cutting mat is, and the fusible is for your bonding. So yeah, I don't know what I did, where have I put it? Oh, I'll put it somewhere. So, yeah, a couple of the accessories that you get, um, one of the ones that springs to mind is things like your embossing mat and your, your fabric um, mat. Sometimes they stick to the the standard mat and give you kind of that, that base to work on. But uh, we'll chat about that one in a, a few minutes as well. So um, I don't think there's anything else that I've got to respond on there. Um, Natalie's referring to the fact of the, the two versions of Canvas Workspace. Yes, I'm using the free download version. You can actually go online, as Natalie said, and actually work with that one as well, but I keep forgetting my password, so I use the download version. Um, and uh, yeah, as you say, it's nice and simple. I'm working with a Mac as well. So uh, yeah, that's the, the way I work with that. Um, and lint rollers are great for lifting debris off your mat. Good idea, I like that idea. So, as I was mentioning, so those are your, your three um, mats. Now, you've also got the ability to get hold of your low tack mats as well. Your low tack mats are these ones. They look very similar, but um, in fact, I'm not gonna open up the pack because I'm gonna bring in my low tack mat. So, it's the same um, as, the ones that you would get when you when you buy your machine. So this time you've got the teal kind of uh, band going across the bottom and it will say low tack. And again, it's got the item code on there as well. And that's the same item code that um, the guys at Craft Store Direct use. So that's how you can kind of make sure that you are getting the right map because when you're just getting started, it's a little bit of a minefield, isn't it? So 
soon you'll know exactly what you're doing and you won't think twice about it but um yeah just initially just keep your eye open and this is where i like the way that the brother used the different colors to kind of depict the different uh, mats so the three pack mat that is available as well as the low tack so a bit of glare going on again so apologies for that it is what it says on the label oh no that's a single one hold on standard is it underneath? Oh, it's underneath there. So yeah, standard, as I say, low tack, three pack, what you would expect. Just bringing in my pricing so as I can um, refer back to that. So your low tack mat, usually your triple pack, you're looking at an RRP of £60 and 49p. Craft Store Direct have them on their website at the moment as £54 and 44p, but don't forget, utilise that code CDTV2210. And that means that you'll only be paying £48.99 for those. So, uh, yeah, take advantage while you can with those. So, uh, just up until the, I think it's Friday, is it Friday the 6th? I think it's Friday the 6th, isn't it, at, um, at midnight. So, uh, yeah, so that's, that is they. So, uh, yeah, they are available individually. So, if you are wanting to go for your single mats, you can do. So, that's your standard tack as you can see there, um, if you're wanting to get extras of those, it's always good to have one in reserve just in case. But of course, utilising the top tips that we got from Natalie there, get yourself a, one of those lint removers. Um, you've also got the larger mats as well. So this particular one is your long mat, which is the same width. So it's going to go through your scan and cut without any issue. But of course, it's a much longer version. And these again are available both in your standard tack um, and your low tack as well so uh, yeah bring um, that into the overhead there so yeah again standard low tack and again it's going to work in the same way as we spoke of before whoops a daisy this time you haven't got well you probably have got a band but it's probably under the cardboard at the top there but you see you can still got you've still got your purple depicting your standard and your teal for your um, low tack so you still got those familiar markings so you'll find yourself just going for whichever mat it is that you need for, for the projects that you're working on just very very easily so those are available um, again they're both priced the same price so with regards to these if you're wanting to go for these usual price of 37 pounds and 49 pence um, if you're wanting those um, and uh, oh it's slightly oh it's a penny more um, if you're going for the low tack one but um, yeah with your discount it brings them down to um, a little over 30 pounds so um, yeah worth getting hold of those so uh, again don't forget use that code save your pennies it's all about saving pennies at the moment isn't it Ooh, put those down there so but yeah keep an eye on those pennies what is it they say look after the pennies and the pounds will take care of themselves Certainly take care of themselves around my middle, but there we go. That's another story altogether. Um, so, yeah, what have we covered so far? We've covered the um, the standard. We've covered the, the low tack mats as well. So, again, these are all available to you. You just take that code, get the discount on there, and obviously make sure that you, you're shopping for these before um, midnight on the 6th. So, next thing is the scanning mat. Now, the scanning mat I've not actually used, but I am intrigued because I only got mine the other day and I've been at, um, at the studio for the weekend, so I haven't had a chance to play with it. So I am going to open this one up. I'm sure Natalie will be able to fill us in on the finer details on this one. Um, I don't know whether it's easy enough for me to, to have a go with it tonight. I don't know, but that's probably maybe not a brilliant idea in case I don't get it right. So maybe we'll save that. I'm going to be doing um, a Facebook Live um, soon anyway. Um, so that might be something we can cover during there. So, so the scan and cut, obviously it's got the scanner built in um, and um, it gives you the ability to scan your projects in and cut them out. And that's what this mat does. So there you go. You can see... Um, Oh, it's got a sticky bit on there so that's where you're going to adhere your your paper or your card i'm guessing so keep hold of that because you don't want that to um go tacky reminds me a little bit of the pick scan mat because you've kind of got markings around here the pick scan mat being the one that you use with the the silhouette you've got some very handy little markings down at the bottom here 
just to remind you that when you're working on your project, dependent on the size of the paper that you're working with, depends on where you position it on your mat. So you can see a 12 by 12, naturally it's going to fill the, the full area. Your letter, your A4, you put horizontally or um, landscape across. Um, and again, you're keeping things up in the top left hand corner, um, basically. Um, as you can see here with regards to this. Um, again, you're going to come with your little kind of instructions, which kind of details what you've got there. Oh, I see now, right, okay. Ah, okay, right, so you've got that underneath. Right, this is where I need... Um, uh, okay, dope. Now, Natalie, you will know more about this. I'm just looking at the instructions here because it's the first time I've got it out of the paper. Um, and it says there about taking your, your, the sticky off there, but that... obviously is attached to just below I don't know if you can see and that isn't meant to come off as you can see there so I'm guessing it holds it in place you scan it and then I'm guessing it creates the the scan file so I'm not going to have a go with that because it's a bit more complicated than I thought it might have been <laughs> so Natalie um, it's useful for your um, template if you're scanning fragile materials and drawings yeah on the packaging it showed that and I thought that's quite a nice idea if you've got young crafters for um, special occasions and things. You can see using their photographs and, and stuff like that. I thought it might be a useful way of doing things with um, things like your, your stamps, if you're wanting to stamp and cut out your images. But as I say, I'll leave that for another day when I've had a chance to have a, a proper go at it. Um, Natalie, have you um, got um, a tutorial on that one on your YouTube um, or Facebook, um, I would imagine? So um, whatever you scan goes underneath the clear sheet, it holds it in place, but the white strip controls the contrast. Um, so keep it clean. Okay, <laughs> keep it clean, keep it clean. So there you go. Um, so it's only scans. Yeah, you don't use it as a cutting mat. Yeah, um, I guessed as much because you're going to cut obviously into that as well. So that's to create your, uh, your, um, your design, I suppose. So you, you have your A4 sheet, I'm guessing. So you'd have that with um, your, your stamped images and then you would scan it in and then it would work that way. So there you go. I am assuming, but I do not know. So that is a bit of a, a learning curve with that particular one. So I'm gonna pop that back in the packaging for now. Um, if it's something you're thinking about getting or you've considered, then obviously the 10% discount is worth considering because it brings the price down to just £17.82p which again is not a bad saving. All of these savings add up. And of course, um, it's good to get them while they're in stock as well, because that's the other thing, is, is making sure you, you get hold of those. There is also um, a scanning mat, which is your larger one. So the larger one is 12 inches by 24 inches, as you can see there. So it's, it's kind of the double the length. So again, nice one um, if you are working on your longer projects. Maybe you've got home decor, maybe you're wanting to cut out elements from wallpaper and stuff like that. I'm guessing you can do that if you're wanting to as well. So turning our attention to the world of fabric, my happy place. So um, there is a fabric mat available for you. Now the fabric mat, as you can see, you're going to use for your delicate fabrics. So fabrics that are gonna need that support, um, you can cut your fabrics, um, obviously with the blade that comes with your scan and cut, your swivel blade, but there is a rotary blade that is available um, as well, um, which I appear to have lost. Oh, yeah, um, I'll show you that in a second. So yeah, it, oh, there you go. So there is a, a, a rotary blade that you can utilize. So you can see there, that little kind of blade and that needs to go in, if I understand it rightly, it needs to go in a different holder. Is that right, Natalie? You might, I need to, you to help me out on that one because as I say, it's not one that I've used yet. I know it has to go in a different um, holder because there's also a kit that is available um, which you can get hold of. Unfortunately, I haven't got one of those at the moment, but that, um, it may fit in the, yeah, it has got its own, own holder. Thought it might do. Thank you, Natalie. So yeah, if you need um, one of those in the future for cutting out, you've got your rotary blade on the bottom there and it will sit in. It'll look very similar, I imagine, to um, your standard um, 
ideas and you kind of drop it in and then it will poke out the bottom and away you go sort of thing so um that kind of idea but it's interchangeable so you can swap that round you're not changing the whole um kind of car um, cartridge and carrier you're just changing the blade with regards to these so anyway i'll come back to that in a few moments so the mat itself so this is your, your fabric mat again it's 12 by 12 as you can see with regards to this one this time um it's kind of got like a, a gold beige gold kind of color to it so lighter fabrics i'm thinking things like your organzas potentially um i don't know whether it's saying a specific thickness no it just says kind of delicate fabric of course with your standard mat you can use your fabrics up to kind of like a, a millimeter and a half thick so i'm guessing that's where you'd be using if you're looking at certain types of felt and, and stuff like that and incidentally um we're hoping to extend the the range of products that are available on the craft store direct website as well so different things like your glitter cardstock mylar potentially um fabrics and things like that as time goes on so yeah let us know what you you want and uh, we'll see might be felt that's a, a good one um, more so than fabric because fabric can be a very personal thing but felt's a nice one for any, anybody to work with so again you've got fabric mat detailed on there and you've got your standard id on there as well so you know it's going to be for your dx range so any of your dx machines that's going to be compatible with as i mentioned previously so if you've already got yours then brilliant why not get hold of a fabric mat and um, you can use that for cutting out your lighter weight fabrics um, and uh, yeah have a jolly good time with it the fabric world is a wonderful world to be in so uh, yes come to the dark side oh faux, uh, faux leather the standard auto blade oh nice so the sta this the faux leather um natalie would that go onto the fabric mat more so than your standard mat or can you get away with both um, just out of interest all these questions i should have bought a pen and paper could have jotted it all down um so what have we got next the embossing mat now um any high tap mat brilliant thanks natalie see i told you she knows this knows the stuff so the embossing mat now this is quite a funky little project so it gives you the ability to use a special tool um, and it will actually emboss into um, a variety of different mediums things like your your soft metal, metal foil um, paper and card it will work with maybe not paper because it might have too much of a force to actually go into paper but your cardstock um, and it can follow loads of different designs so uh, yeah it can get some nice pretty effects with those it's an interesting one this one because it's like a foam so I don't know whether you can pick up on that. It's it's a bit like a, a kind of funky foam. I don't know if you can kind of see that with that. But again, this is one that is going to, I'm guessing, um, adhere to your mat. And you're not going to use your blade with this one. There is a special embossing tool, which um, I don't have a here, but you, you get a special tool. And again, I think it goes in a special holder. Um, and then you utilize that to actually emboss. And it's one of the features when you actually go into the settings with your design and you're choosing how you're going to work with this, then uh, you choose your different settings. Now, um, it's 12 and a half by nine and a half inches. There aren't any full size ones with regards to this one. So that's the largest size that you can get, I believe. Um, and uh, it will attach, I'm guessing, to your mat because it's kind of got that glossiness there. So it would be a case that you can put that on and peel it back again. So, uh, yeah, um, and yeah, Natalie, yeah, exactly. There is a starter kit that will have everything in it that um, you need. But if you've already got those and you're looking at a new embossing mat, um, then, uh, yeah, there you go. I'm guessing as time goes on, Natalie, do you need to, to get new ones of these? Do they get a little bit condensed over time? Or um, is it kind of like, a, I'm guessing it's not a one-time purchase because you wouldn't have them available by themselves. They'd just be in the starter kit and that would be it. So, yeah, if you're wanting yours again, rather than paying the regular price on that one of 16 pounds and 49p with your code then you're only paying 13 pounds and 37 pence so uh, good discounts yeah if heavy use then yeah because i'm guessing that it's going to put the pressure into that foam as well um and there'll be certain points and this is me assuming that when the tool passes over the points 
that might have a lot of embossing already done on there, you're not going to get as crisp an embossed line as if it's kind of like a, a virgin mat and there's no lines on there at all. So, uh, yep, if you want a new embossing mat, then the, the details are there on your screen. So, going back to the um, the blade that we were touching on. Oh, show sure what's happened with my screen there. Kind of a bit half and half. That's a bit odd, but not to worry. I managed to press two buttons at the same time. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so yeah, it touched on the fact that you've got your um, your blade. So yeah, if you're wanting your blade, oh, that's a bit weird. I'm not quite sure what's happened on the screen there. Okay. <laughs> I can see actually, it's, it's kind of, yeah, I know what I've done. So I need to address that. I'm gonna drop that down. Um, rotary blade page. That's down to the setup that I've done. There was bound to be something that uh, kind of went uh, a, a bit adrift. So you are looking at it at the moment. So yeah, we've touched on the um, the blade previously. And there's similarly um, a blade that you can use with regards to your vinyl as well. So your vinyl, this is perfect if you've got really intricate designs. Um, you can use it on things like your, your stencil um, vinyl as well. Um, and it is one of those ones where you've got in your little carriage there again, you can see your tool um, sits in there. I think it will work with your regular blade holder, Natalie. Help me out with that one. Because um, it just it mentions on the, the uh, information that I was getting, it works with a Scan and Cut DX auto blade holder only. So I don't know whether that is that one. Is it that one? Because it's a similar sort of idea. So, yeah, Natalie will tell us, I'm sure, on that one. Like the way they come in these, like, neat little... Um, oh, it's got a light blue coded holder. Yes, of course, there is a starter kit, yeah. If there's a starter kit, you can... Um, uh, you'll often find that there's a special tool for the blades to go into. So when, they, when you're shopping for these, just keep an eye open. You will find on the Craft Store um, Direct website that it will say if you need a blade holder. Um, and then if there's a kit that's available, then it's going to be different to your standard kit. It takes a while to get used to everything, doesn't it? This is me kind of going back 15 years, like I did with the, um, the well, it's Craft Robo right the way back in the beginning. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it takes a while to get your head around it all, doesn't it? So yeah, if you're wanting um, your um, vinyl cut blade, then uh, of course uh, you, you can do. Now, the last thing that I wanted to touch on uh, oh no, it's not the last touch. I've jumped ahead. I've jumped ahead. The um, roller. So there is a scan and cut um, roll feeder, which I was very excited to learn about. So this um, is wonderful for obviously if you've got your vinyl on a roll, you don't have to use it with your mat because your um, vinyl has got a backing on it. Same way as many of your um, your die cutting, like your, your silhouette, your portrait, things like that. So you don't need a mat on the back of it. Um, this you can use with the SDX 900, which I think Natalie said she'd got. Um, I haven't got that one. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just opening up the box as we speak because it's always nice to see what happens when you open the box. So yeah, it comes in a good size box and you can kind of see there the idea. So it sits um, to the front of your machine and you have your mat, um, your the front of the machine open and it kind of has got this extension that sits on there and it takes it from the actual roll underneath and feeds directly into your machine um, as you can see with that as is often the case you will find little help files on the brother website as well oh the cm4 sorry cm700 i do apologize yeah so you've got the same as me, the SDX 1200 and then the, the CM700. Um, I don't think there's anything else in that box. Ooh, have a quick look. Oh no, just cardboard. Okay, right, let's move that out of the way. So it all comes neatly packaged, as you can see here. So it's just a case of unpackaging it and uh, getting it set up. So yeah, keep everything. I always keep the packaging just in case, heaven forbid, for whatever reason you may need to return it. But this is literally, as you can see, as you, you open it up. So you've got the roll feeder with your instructions in there. You've often got a quick guide start, as you can see here. And obviously you've got lots of tape that's attached to the different pieces here. So it's a case of kind of decanting everything and getting all the, the sticky up. I won't go through it all because um, 
life is too short and you don't want to watch me get this all set up but again it's another one of those products that maybe when we're doing um, a facebook live um, we can concentrate on it a little bit more or when we come to do another spotlight um craft store direct tv spotlight as they are going to be called so yeah you've got your feeder there which i guess is going to sit whoops um somehow on there Obviously, I'm paraphrasing here, or it may be the other way around. Is it the other way around? No, I think it's that way around. I'm looking at the mat. No, I'm not looking at the directions that we've got on here. So, um, yeah, I'll go into it, finer detail at a, a later stage. And then this is the, the part that has got your um, adjustable rollers on. So, again, you've got um, your cross cutter, which will allow you to cut your vinyl down. So that will, you put, it's got a little blade in there, a bit like you get with your, your cameos. You press down and you will cut your vinyl. And then basically what would happen is you'd have like a, a roll of vinyl that you would sit on there. And then you obviously move these to the right size, pop your vinyl in there and feed it through. Um, and it will take the vinyl, whichever way around you, you have the vinyl um, wound. Wound, I think that's the right phrase. So um, reverse and forward rolled, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Up to a thickness of 0.5 mil. So perfect for your, your um, heat transfer vinyl and uh, also your adhesive as well. There's an activation card in here as well. So when you actually use that and you're in Canvas Workspace, it'll give you a free sample design as well. And it's kind of got everything on there. And as I say, we saw, saw previously before, the, um, the quick start guides are pretty good. There's lots of kind of pictures. I'm more of a pictures than a words kind of girl. Oh, is that the design that you get? Well, that's pretty, isn't it? If that's the design. Um, so it kind of explains to you all the different components, all the different elements that you've got there. And then we'll go through how you put it all together. Now, it's called the Roll Feeder 2. So I'm guessing that there was one prior to this one. Um, you've got your different languages there as well, so it kind of explains everything to do with this and how to download the instruction manual as well. So you just go through that, get it all set up, um, and away you go. So, yeah, like the idea of that. Now, this is something obviously it's a one time purchase, once you've got hold of it, you don't need to buy it again. So, the beauty of this one is if you do decide to go for it, then uh, take advantage of that 10% discount. Certainly worth doing it um, on this one because usually you'd be paying £55, but because you've got the additional 10% discount if you're using your code, then you're dropping that price down, um, as you can see there. So, yeah, bringing it down to £44.55p, which is not a bad saving to take advantage of, is it? We like a saving. So the last thing that I'm going to be touching on before um, I start cutting projects out is oh here comes the rain again the um the plug-in now there is a plug-in that is available if you find yourself working in adobe illustrator so if you're um, an accomplished um, graphic designer or you just prefer that method rather than using canvas workspace then this will allow you um, to kind of hook up and use the two together so your designs will you can create in adobe illustrator and then take them across um, so, uh, yeah, take them across to the canvas workspace. Can you hear that rain? My goodness. I might get washed, washed down the lane. All those poor little trick and treaters if they're out tonight. Oh, dear. Poor little lambs. So, yeah, um, that is... Oh, wrong one. <laughs> so, yeah, that is available. Um, and basically, you've got an activation card that you will give you the code that you can just go in. Um, and uh, activate that through your um, Canvas workspace. Again, you've got a discount on that one. So if you're wanting to take advantage of that one, then uh, yeah, again, use the discount. Um, get your discount on that one. Brings it down to £22.23p. And again, it's a one-type purchase. It's not um, something that you're going to be doing over and over again. Good evening, Dawn. Hello. Nice to have your company. Um, Scan Cut Link is your favourite at the moment. Oh, what's that then, Natalie? Scan and Cut Link. Oh, my goodness. You've done 20 T-shirts. I might need to find out about that then because I've got um, Hindus coming out my ears at the moment. We've got a lot of Hindus going on in our family. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Right, so 
Let's go back and have a little look at the scan and cut itself while we've got a little bit of time. Um, I'm here with you up until eight o'clock this evening and then it's uh, dinner time. So uh, my dinner hopefully, well, it's not gonna be ready. We've got a, a quick dinner. So uh, we use one of those subscriptions, which is brilliant, makes it very easy. So what have I done with my phone? What time are we? Oh gosh, we've only got five minutes, wow. Okay, well, let's have a quick look and see if we can manage to get something cut out while we've got the opportunity. So let's go in and have a little look. So if you are completely new, as I showed earlier on, it's very easy for you to find projects and very easy for you to kind of um, cut them out. We'll do something very quickly. We'll just go into the pattern menu because these are all your pre-built um, designs that you've got in here. So. I'm just going to grab, um, let me just grab some encapsulated, some glitter card stock actually. Let's use that one then. So, um, you can just choose a design. Different headings, different sections, depends on what you're wanting to create. And then you literally just go in and work your way through um, to find the different projects that you want. And what we've got in this section here, let's have a little look. So, I'm just after something that's a relatively easy um, design to work around. I've got some pink glitter card. I think one of these would look quite pretty. Let's go for a swirly heart. Um, so what I've got here is I've got the design up as the standard as it is. Um, and then what I can actually do is change the size of this if I wanted to. Now at the moment it's changing everything in proportion, which is brilliant. If I wanted to change it by percentage, then I can do. So I can kind of jump with that. If I wanted to make it double the size or, or whatever, that's one of the ways you can do that with there. So click on OK um, and it will take you, um, obviously it takes that design into your work area and then uh, you basically just get yourself sorted out with it really. So set that up. Here's my cutting mat. Oh gosh, that is a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So, <laughs> um, so let's go back in, we'll edit it and we're going to go back. But what you can do, I believe, and again this is where I'm kind of getting to grips with this, is you can actually change the size of it when you're actually working with it. But I'm not sure I've got the right screen with that at the moment, so not to worry. But actually, I've got 12 by 12, so let's do it as a large piece. In fact, um, yeah, yeah, we'll do it that size. Okay, we'll do it that size. That's not a problem at all. Now, if I wanted to add a different design, which I can do, I can go back in, and then again, I can choose another design if I wanted to. I can go further back and, and play around with it and put whatever else I want in there to use that whole work area. But I'm just going to use the area that I've got. Um, so when you want to continue with that, you can click on OK. Obviously, there's a lot within here. Um, and this is where Natalie is going to be a brilliant person for us to have on board. Because what it will mean is that her knowledge that she's gained... Oh, sorry. Bear with. It's like taking a plaster off. Um, that she is gained, she's going to be sharing that with us. She has already um, this evening, so uh, yeah, she's going to be the right person to help us along. And she's going to be doing all sorts of different classes and um, tutorials, and there's all sorts of different things that she's going to be doing and adding some um, content to the YouTube channel that we see from Craft Store Direct as well. So I've popped my glitter card stock on, so I put it onto my my standard tack uh, mat here. Um, which should be okay for this one. And then all I'm going to do is go through, um, as you can see, the selections that you've got on here. Can you see what's it's on the screen there? So please select. So this is where you're going to basically tell it whether you're going to draw the design or you're cutting the design. So are you going to use the pens or are you going to use the blade? We're just going to use the blade, keep it simple. So it will process that for us, okay? Now what I can do is I can do a little test cut if I want to, to make sure that I'm happy with that design, which I think I probably will do because I'm still getting to grips with the, the machine. And if I just nudge that over slightly, you'll see that you've got this little kind of grid here and that depicts your mat. So I'm just going to press on that and that will take the mat in, okay? like so. Um, and uh, your optical eye, which again is in this area here, will read the mat to make sure you've got the right mat for the machine and so on. So if you want to do a test cut, then you just um, click on test and it will do that for you. Um, click on cut and away it will go, as you can see. So it will cut out and start. There we go. Now, oh, I'm just going to pause that because one thing I've noticed is my 
um, cardstock just lifted up on the edge there. So the, I've got it overhanging the table a little bit. So um, make sure that the edge of your mat is supported. So this edge was hanging over the edge of the table. So I'm just going to bring it in. Just trying to fit everything on so as you can see. Right. OK, so start that. So he's going to try cutting out that test piece for us first and then it will go back and cut out the, the heart afterwards. What it's doing at this stage is it will do a little cut in um, and kind of use that blade to establish how thick the cardstock is. And that's where you're doing kind of like, you get your test cut done to make sure that that's working first. So this is the bit that I love about this particular machine because it's such a clever feature um, and uh, can make life a lot easier for you. Now down in the bottom left hand corner, that's where it's done its cut and you can see that it's cut that out perfectly. So I'm more than happy with that, but I haven't had to tell it what I'm cutting out, what um, depth I need the blade to be at, um, what speed it needs to be at. None of that have I needed to do. Now, if I do a test again, I think it automatically knows where it did a test previously, but you would, wouldn't just test again. You'd go into the settings and change the settings if you needed to. Touch wood, as I'm touching my head, I've not had to alter any of the settings. I've just, anything that I've put on there, including when I've been working with mylar, so stencil mylar, which I'm hoping that um, Craft Store Direct will um, actually stock soon. Um, that is, it's just incredible. I don't know if I've got the stencil to hand. There we go, I have. So this is what I actually cut out of it. Look at that. You might recognise the design, actually, it's a silhouette design. But that's cut out of the mylar. And that was just one cut. And it actually figured out the depth that it needed to be. So that's one of the reasons why I love this machine. So when we're ready, um, I'm just going to bring it in. So as you can see again there, just going to click on Start. And now it's telling me that it's got two minutes to cut. Now, it's not um, kind of like a stopwatch type um, or athlete type of timing, should we say. It's not fine tuned. So it might be just a little over a minute or it might be just shy of three minutes. So it's kind of in, in full minute increments. So when it says a minute, it doesn't mean, right, okay, come back and it'll it, it bang on a minute. But personally, I don't move away from my um, cutting machines anyway. Now, can you hear how quiet it is? Again, that's another thing that I love about it. Silhouettes, um, I love my silhouettes, um, and it's a, it's it's one of those ones I absolutely love them. But they do sound a little bit like R two D two from Star Wars, don't they? They do make some funny little noises, or um, maybe like the clangers. If you're old enough to remember the clangers, I certainly am. Um, so if you girls at Craft Store Direct ever need someone to dem demo silhouette um, cameo um, things, give me a shout. Oh, there you go. It's always good to have people to help out, to be honest. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, always make yourself known. That's the key thing. Um, are there any updates on the auto sheet feeder? I'm still waiting for my, uh, for my machine, Dawn. Um, so I haven't heard anything. I know Alistair said that um, the guys were looking at, at there, which is why mine's been delayed, because they, they were trying to figure out what the issue was and uh or um but i don't know what the outcome was so when i know i will certainly pass the information on um so yes hopefully um it's all positive so what, what else is that nasty said there he here the silhouette cameo always reminds me of my craft robo gosh do you remember the craft robos they were so antiquated weren't they in uh, in comparison right so again as i always say with your silhouette um silhouette cameo just make sure that it looks as if it's cut okay. So usually just lifting a little bit, you'll be able to see, because obviously as soon as you move this, then everything is moved. So if you try and do a second cut, then you're gonna find it slightly off kilter and uh, it won't work, but this is looking okay. So if you're finished, just click on okay. And then obviously the same button that we referred to previously to eject your mat, so again, I'll pop your mat out and let's have a little look to see how we got on. So this is what I would suggest when you're just getting started. Don't try and make things too complicated. Just utilise the designs that you've got in built. And then that is the thing um, to make it easy. Get used to the machine. 
it's like with a sewing machine the first project you would have with a sewing machine wouldn't be a wedding dress would it so just to make sure that you well it might be if you're that confident but i certainly wouldn't and then your little tool which of course comes alongside i do this kind of thing kind of flex the mat try and keep your fingers off the sticky surface because the longer you can keep that tacky the better and then obviously if it lifts up then you can get hold of it but if you've got any areas that you can't quite get to then obviously use the tool and that will help you um, decant them from the project so that heart as you can see there coming away very very neatly a uh, glitter cardstock cut in just a minute no time at all really isn't it so there you go let's just lift that up using the the little uh, spatula spoon i don't know what you call it really but it's a useful little tool um, with your larger projects obviously you, you kind of got to get in there as well but there we go and it's known which bits are the, the bits you're keeping and which are the bits you're not so there you go i mean that could be cut out of wall art obviously once you get into the realms of designing then you can play around with the designs in there use it, um, your canvas workspace personally because i know the silhouette um software um i potentially would be designing within that um but it's good to get to know canvas workspace as well it's kind of a stripped back version that's the impression that i get but i know there's a lot you can do with it as time goes on so it's kind of time is the thing isn't it which i'm seriously lacking at the moment so uh, yeah but hopefully um that has explained to you um how quickly and easy you can kind of uh, cut something out utilizing um what you've got in the program that's the that's the key thing so uh yeah thank you was that okay are we i think we've had a nice hour natalie you've been brilliant thank you she'll definitely um call on your your help and support again and as i say check out and i don't natalie did put in the the chat there about um her is, is, some, is it planner craft i need to go and have a little look at it because i love my planners I'm a bit of a happy planner kind of girl, which is the easy way of doing them, I guess. But I kind of create pages in Silhouette myself as well. So um, it's probably quicker for you to say again what the name of your group is, Natalie. Because I'm scrolling through and I can't see it. But I know it's in there somewhere. So, yeah. Oh, I saw it then. I've just gone past it. YouTube and look for Planner Craft. Planner Craft, all one word. Um, and there's loads, I mean, Natalie, go back if you've just joined us, go back and have a look at Natalie's comments because there's loads in there that she's added in as well. Um, loads of different ideas. Um, OBS has moved the camera window. Oh, right. Okay, that's probably what happened then. I keep forgetting to lock things in. OBS, sorry, is the, 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 um, the software that I use to kind of give us the screen that we've got. And they do updates and then things change and it's, yeah, you go back to it again. So, uh, yes, um, a bit tricky. So there's loads and loads of information on there that Natalie Blesser has put in. So, yes. So plan a craft and the group is scan and cut and paper craft courses, classes and workshops by plan a craft. So there you go. My speech is all broken and you can't understand me, Jeanette. Oh, OK. Mm. Is anybody else? Is that my feed or is it at the other end? I don't know. It's a bit of a, a tricky one, the internet, isn't it? So I think a couple of times the screen did freeze a little bit. So apologies, but um, hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Oops, cable won't go that far around. So I am going to love you and leave you. Um, uh, there's going to be a Facebook Live. I can't remember what date I've said now off the top of my head, but keep an eye open on social media um hopefully i'll have a bit of an update with regards to the roll feed at that stage and then i can kind of give you some information on that and uh, yeah i need to find some time to literally sit and go through the the scan and cut but um, i'm kind of uh, got a lot of projects that i need to to get organized from uh, my sewing advent calendar so uh, yeah I need to pull my finger out for that one as well so thank you Thank you for your company um, thank you for joining me this evening and as i say check out natalie's um, facebook page check out her youtube channel as well and do make sure you keep an eye on what we're up to at um, craft store direct um, tv with the tv spotlights as well so you take care of yourself um, try and keep, stay in the warm and the dry 
Um, and yeah, take advantage of those darker nights, which is good for crafting. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.